Boat number one. This is going to be your women's 550 mod. Woo! On the Tim Boat, coming to you from Porterville, California. Please watch us. excited but um if I do race pray for me
Oh my God. Bison Olson. My this phone is, is race numb. number 14, your vintage ski open class. Oh, it's... The thumb is horrible, man. Okay. For racing. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. Learn the track. It was hurting so bad. my wrist was gonna be on fire and it was gonna be that difficult to ride but um, I finished the race <clears throat> pretty sure I got last place but then ugh, a bunch of other girls are saying that too but I'm pretty sure I actually did get last but that's all good like at least it was done and over with and I got through it and next moto I'm not gonna have a thumb throttle
sure I got last place again I'm pretty sure I'm like 95% sure that's okay because I came into this with no expectations and just want to have fun the second ski I used it was kind of dying out on me when I was giving it more throttle so the more throttle I gave it it was not giving it all its power like and uh, it was noticeably like like dying down like that when I was like on a straight and trying to get speed and even on the whole shot like I'm going and it feels good but then it slows down like halfway through or something and everyone passes me pretty sure I was in last or second to last at that point and yeah I continued on um it didn't have all the power for the rest of the race, so I really had to just kind of rant, 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 like, just continuously kind of do that, especially on the turns and when I wanted to pick up speed on another straight. And let's see, when we were almost done with the race, um, I fell and actually, like, let go of the ski, and, like, that's the worst thing you could possibly do. So that set me back a little bit, and it tired me out, freaking having to swim and put my arm up for the marshal or whatever but other than that i finished um i got lapped by rachel of course again she's a hell of a rider um it was really fun and cool getting to meet her in real life instead of just talking on the phone it was cool meeting a lot more people here and even the people who let me borrow their skis i had never met them in person before but they still like were super friendly and let me ride like race it so like that's really cool like goes to show how the community really cares and yeah. is there for each other so there is going to be another race in july 
don't know if I'm gonna race. Maybe I should. I mean, I'm already signed up for the membership and stuff. It just, like, is not the same when you don't have your own ski. Everybody skis has, like, these little unique quirks and things I'm just not used to. So, that was a little meh. Don't really recommend riding a ski that you're not used to. But if you just want to get the experience, why not? Borrow a ski. As long as it doesn't die on you the whole entire race, it should be okay. I would love to go hang out again. That was fun, staying up late and seeing everyone. But, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I've only rode twice, not including this race, in the past two and a half years. So I literally haven't gotten tray time in years almost and I don't get practice like any of these other girls I literally just want to do it just because I know how to ride and I've raced before and it's been a long time and I missed it so it just sucks not having your own ski maybe better luck next time but we'll see I'm not setting high expectations I literally just want to have fun um maybe write do a little write up for vintage jet ski about my experience getting back into the jet ski game. We'll see. And I would definitely like to document it more because I do kind of regret not documenting the first two races that I did three years ago. Have these memories and like film the stuff and yeah. So yeah, if I do go to the next race, I will definitely document it, kind of like how I did this last race, and it was really fun to film again, and really fun to be back in the jet ski community fun vibe again. Like, it's just been so long, and I just love it. I love everything about it. I love the sights, I love the smell of two-stroke, I love the sound of these skis, and it's just so much fun. Like, I was sore for days afterwards, but so worth it. So, yeah, if I go to the next one, Hope you guys join me and can watch it on YouTube next time. Thank you for watching. I might see you at the next race.